Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position as always by Lee Dixon. And we've got action for you from the Champions League quarter-final. It's Herbe Leipzig versus Barcelona. Well, every player's goal is to get to a final of a Champions League, I'm sure. But there's another couple of legs to go before they get to the semi-final. Can you stay in the moment? Can you stay in the now? We're just about to find out. Have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Peter Guracci is the goalkeeper of choice. Marcel Halstenberg starts with Alvaro Odrio Sola in the fullback positions. And the attack is led today by Alexander Isak. And they kick off this Champions League quarter final first leg. And it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. And that will be the keeper's ball. Not a hard save. Ricky Puig. And slipped through beautifully. And it might be an early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. There's still a lot of work to be done, but the keeper presents the near post on a plate, and he's punished. That's quite remarkable. One nil, then. And a chance for him on the flank. Terrific block there. Well, it's one pass after another. And threading it forward. Nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. He's in here. Deary me, a golden chance missed. He's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Lee? Well, Derek, it certainly was a good four to five minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the... A goal! Real excitement! A back-and-forth type of game. Now they're level. Well, here we can take another look at it. You've got to ask questions about the keeper's positioning. That's half of his job. He can put the best keeper in the world. Wrong side of the goal, he won't save anything. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Holland. Keeper getting the touch. Into the goalkeeper. And level it is in the waning moments. Can Barcelona change that situation? Take it away. Minute remaining. No more time left. The referee says that will do it. They will meet again in the second leg. But at the moment, things pretty tight in this tie league. Yes, Derek, they seem very, very evenly matched, didn't they? Looking forward to the second leg. You just wonder how it's going to play out. It could be a bit of a nervy affair. Both teams afraid of slipping up in that second leg. But I think we are in for a really, really classic game. Maybe get a good tackle in, settle the nerves down. Looking forward to a good game here. He might be able to make it through. Couldn't quite hang on. From the ball. Well, you don't want to concede early in the game and the goalkeeper is the hero there. And a goal! Just what the fans wanted to see. The ideal way to begin.
Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. So on they go again. A wake-up call for Atletico. And they find a response here. Has eyes for goal! Well, he's given a corner, the referee. Lisandro Martinez. Holland. Is it going to be? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Herrera. This could level it. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Teammate in support. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form. Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. It's going their way. 2-0. Cow. Oh, what a perfect ball now. How about this? Not far away at all with the volley. Herrera. Moreno. What an important piece of defending. A goal! And it's very much game on here. Well, here's the goal again, and he's just been caught napping, hasn't he? Had his pocket picked and rightly punished. Schoolboy stuff. So it is. Excellent block. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in with a chance. The net is staring him in the face. Magnificent stuff. And quite the comeback from two goals down. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And you can see what he's thinking as he allows the keeper to get close to him. And then the little dink is fantastic. A glut of goals, two apiece. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but. It will be decision time, the second leg of the Champions League quarter-final. And you'll see it live with us here on EA TV. Can he give them the lead? And it's in! Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generating a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. Look. Atletico Madrid having fallen behind. No, they've got to get into an attacking gear. And can they make one of these passes count? And that's it, a goal for Atletico! Beyond the goalkeeper, Atletico on terms. Well, this is definitely worth another look. Superb interplay, so slick. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy. It will be decision time, the second leg of the Champions League quarter final. And you'll see it live with us. Can he do it to take the lead? And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. Well, we can see it again now. And it really is a difficult ball to defend against. Over the top and into space. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? 15 minutes remaining. Oh, good vision. Messi! Oh, a smart stop. 
Messi. And that's sound goalkeeping to hang on to the shot like that. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Under real goodness. Well, they would have been in a decent position there, but offside. And that is that. The final whistle has sounded, and it's a victory for Barcelona. Lee, what did you make of their performance? Well, split by that one goal. That's how close the game was. Neither team deserved to lose, really. It was so tight. Hello, wherever you happen to be, welcome to Catalonia, welcome to Barcelona. My name is Derek Ray, with me in the commentary box is Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UEFA Champions League. It's Barcelona facing Hervé Leipzig. Yeah, thanks Derek, we had a cracker of a first leg, plenty of action at both ends, goals. How important is that away goal rule? We're just about to find out. Let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. And you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. Well, he'll do well to beat his previous hat-trick, but the form is in. I wouldn't put it past him. Now, that would be straightforward for any keeper. Paid to be. Oh, a nice-looking pass. And they could do damage. And a touch of finesse. Oh, it's gone in. And I'll tell you what, that could be highly significant in the grand scheme of the time. Well, here's the replay. Super-fast counter-attack football at its best. And then just look at this finish. Just entices the keeper in. And it's a lovely dink to deceive him. Fantastic goal. So the aggregate score currently stands at 2-1. Dangerous looking attack. On to Mutiele. Can he finish? And begging to be put away. Save. Koke with it. And return to Koke. And will it be the leveller? And a goal it is. And what a significant one. They're locked together again. You just can't divide these two teams. An extra time, a real possibility. Well, it's 2 2 on aggregate here. Koke. Can they convert? And a timely goal to give them security and breathing room. What a chance they have now of making it through. Well, here's the replay, and what a ball that is to put him through. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. Well, plenty of goals if you look at the aggregate. 3-2 here. Oh, lovely incisive pass. Grimaldo, it's there for him, well that helps the cause, level on aggregate but trailing on away goals, they need another. 
Well, here we can see it again, and no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tighter, have to deal with the danger. Not good enough at all defensively. Goals are plenty in the tie as a whole. 3-3. Three, three. Now with De Jong. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Teammates available. And a goal! And now they're in control of the situation. Can they see this through? Well, here's the replay. He's done really well to get his head up and pick out a teammate. And still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. A festival of goals when you look at the aggregate score, 4-3. Still trailing, but they're upping the pressure. And an astute piece of defending. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter-attack here. And in with a real chance. In it goes! And it should be the goal that gets them through. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter-attack football at its best. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when it's hit that hard. On a tie, laden with goals. 5-3 here on aggregate. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. And he's broken free. And a goal! They're giving this a real push. One more would get them through on the away goals rule. Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. What a tie this has turned out to be. 5-4, the aggregate score. Danny Olmo with it. And there goes the final whistle. These are words you've doubtless heard on plenty of occasions in the past. Barcelona will be moving on. Well, it's been a cracking tie, and they probably deserve to go through with the football they played over the two legs. They'll be growing in confidence now, though. Just wonder how far this team can go. Well, after plenty of pre-match anticipation, the wait is finally over. My name is Derek Ray. I'm joined by Lee Dixon in the commentary box, and we're just seconds away from kickoff in what promises to be a spectacular final. It's Barcelona against Atletico Madrid. Well, all the hard work to get to a cup final. Don't disappoint yourselves. Don't disappoint those fans. Go out and make it yours. Make that cup something you're really proud to win forward they need to try and get the ball into the box for the two up front and this is the starting lineup for Atletico Jan Oblak starts in goal Harry Maguire plays alongside Jose Maria Jimenez in central defense Marcos Llorente starts alongside Marcel Zabitzer in central midfield and it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal scoring threat good defending to prevent the chance Ansu Fati. Taking care of business defensively here. Messi. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. There it is! How about that for starters? Well, what a huge moment that might be for this club. The fans are going absolutely wild. Well, here's the replay, and I enjoy this passage of play. It's lovely to watch. Superb passing, and still with lots to do, he unleashes a very powerful effort. Gave the keeper little chance. Lovely goal that was. So on they go again. A wake-up call for Atletico, and they find a response here. A long way out. 
the free kick. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Oh, a nice looking pass. And now can they keep calm? And Jan Oblak excelling. Absolutely fantastic. He's given it straight to the opposition. Messi. Oh, he's through here. And a goal to increase the lead in this final. Will they be stopped now? Well, as we look at this again, what they always say, focus on the ball, ensure you strike it cleanly. He's done just that. What a finish. Well, a second goal for them here. Llorente. And in with a real chance. On his own, with only the keeper to beat, and still he's missed it. Can they hit on the break? Dangerous looking through ball. It's still alive. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Oh, a nice looking pass. He's just got to continue his run. His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And for stoppages here. And the final whistle, the cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. And Lee, memories are being made. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't matter how much money you've got in the bank. Players will always look back at moments like these. These moments where you pick trophies up and win medals. Absolutely brilliant for this group of players. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, it's these moments, Derek, when you get your hands on the silverware and that little medal that goes round your neck might seem small now, but you'll look back at that, show your grandkids absolutely superb memories these players will have of this game. It's a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Yeah, it's been a long, old road to get to this point. They're going to celebrate now and certainly celebrate long into the night, I think. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. And this is really special. Getting to celebrate in front of your own fans, Lee. Well, it's giving something back. These fans have travelled all over the place following their team now they get to join in the celebrations go into the crowd and give them the cup that's what i say well then it might never find its way to the trophy cabinet lee and now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, you know exactly where I'd be sitting in that photo, don't you, Derek? <laughs> I think I've heard it before, Lee. <laughs> Straight at the front.